What's up you guys? Happy New Year! If you are new to my channel, welcome! My name is Eshi and I do a ton of DIY, finance, and travel videos. It may be 2022, but I am personally throwing it back to 2018 when I refused to wear anything but a dark lip. I guess some things never change. What has changed in the past couple years are my feelings about budgeting and goal setting. I used to be a huge New Year's resolution goal setting naysayer, but let me tell you, I am a full on convert now. I now swear by budgeting and goal setting. And this year I wanted to share all of my 2022 goals with you guys. Honestly, it has truly helped me keep myself accountable for all the things that I actually want because it's really easy throughout the year just to get caught up in the day to day and forget what you're really trying to accomplish. So budgeting and goal setting keeps me on track for the things I actually want in life. In short, I hope this video inspires you to set some goals for yourself, whether it's financial, personal, work related, whatever. Just figure out the things that you really want to do this year and make them happen. And I wish you guys the best of luck in 2022. Before we get started, if you could hit that like button for me, that would be awesome. And hit subscribe if you wanna see more financial videos for me or more DIYs, let me also know in the comments down below. To get started, let's talk about some of my financial goals. Up first are two goals for my retirement saving. This year with my 401k, I would love to max it out. So I think the max for 2022 is 20,500. So I want to contribute that maximum amount towards my 401k. Now, hopefully this will also include some employer contributions, but I really want to hit that max for the first time next year. The other thing I wanna do is max out my Roth IRA and that is $6,000 for the full year. If I do that, this will be the third year in a row that I will be maxing it out. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about a couple other savings goals that I have. First of all, I do have a brokerage account that I use to invest in some stocks and some bonds some a lot of random things that I am interested in. It's almost more of like a play money situation, but I wanna get a little bit more serious with that this year and start contributing $50 a month towards that brokerage account. I am also thinking I may have to up my emergency fund a little bit come next year because we are planning on moving to California and I just wanna have a little extra in that fund just in case anything happens out there. Obviously our expenses are gonna go up a little bit in Cali, so I wanna make sure my emergency fund goes up to match. I would also like to open up a joint bank account for me and my boyfriend Chumley next year so that we can start contributing money that we both pay equally, like towards our rent, our groceries, things like that. I think it would just make a little bit more sense to have one bank account that we deposit money into and then we take money out for those shared expenses. It's just been really annoying to have two different bank accounts and me sending him money, him sending me money whenever we split those bills. So joint bank account, here I come. We may also have to switch over to a new health insurance next year. And with that, I'm thinking I need to open up an FSA. If you don't know what an FSA is, it's a flexible spending account and it's offered through your employer and you can put pre-tax dollars into it. And usually you can use it towards like medical bills, co-pays. I don't think we're gonna put a whole lot of money in there, but honestly it makes sense since we do go to the doctors pretty often and we get prescriptions and things like that. We might as well use pre-tax dollars instead of post-tax dollars to pay for those things. I I am now going to talk about all of these sinking funds that I am going to start up this year. I kind of dabbled here and there with the concept of sinking funds this past year, but I really want to go full force into setting up a couple different sinking funds. And if you don't know what sinking funds are, basically they are just places where you will save money for a specific spending purpose. For example, if you know you have a car insurance payment coming up, instead of just waiting and waiting and then paying it off then and there with any money that you have left over, you might as well start saving towards it, even a little bit every month so that you have that much money when it comes time to pay for it. Some of the more high priority, very short term sinking funds that I will be saving for include my moving fund. So I would love to have about $5,000 saved up by March, April, so that we have all of our expenses covered when we are moving across the country. That may seem like a lot and I am hoping it is an overestimate, but I just wanna be safe. Another sinking fund I would like to contribute to is my decorating the apartment sinking fund. If you haven't seen any of my DIY or interior decorating videos, you may not know that I am super into interior decorating and doing everything myself. But in this new apartment, I will absolutely be doing it up. And so for that fund, I want to save about $4,000. And this will probably be used up by June. 
And honestly, this money will probably go towards things like a new couch, um, a spare bed, different big ticket items, as well as some of the smaller things as well. I also have a couple other short-term sinking funds that I want to start up that aren't as high priority as those ones, but I still wanna get them started. We have a car insurance payment for next year, and I would like to have $1,500 saved by the end of next year to pay that off. I would also like to start up a gifts sinking fund, so for all of the birthdays, all of the holidays, things like that. There are a few key birthdays that I know that we will always be paying for, so I would like to have saved about $100 by the middle of the year and $100 towards the end of the year. I would also like to do a donation sinking fund because along with some of these birthdays, we like to donate money as a gift. So I would also like to have about $100 saved by the middle of the year and then $100 saved by the end of the year. The last short-term sinking fund I would like to save for is for a potential wedding weekend. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, I will leave the links right here, but I mentioned that I did cancel our plans for a wedding weekend celebration thing in this coming 2022, but I'm hoping if my laser hair removal burns, link right here, are uh, recovered by the end of 2022, maybe we can do something special in 2023. So I would like to have $1,000 saved by the end of 2022 for that. And when I say wedding celebration, it is not a wedding, believe me. It's more like having all of our friends and our family just come hang out with us for a weekend. We would go out and, you know, do whatever they wanted to do, go to the ocean, go hiking have a good night out, things like that. And now for my more long-term sinking funds. Number one is our house fund, and I have already been saving for this for a little while, but what I would like to aim for is having a total of $40,000 saved by the end of 2023, or maybe even the middle of 2024. That is the goal. Another long-term sinking fund goal is to have about $2,000 saved up by the end of 2023 for hopefully some new filming equipment. I'm hoping you guys don't really notice, but I film each and every one of my videos with my phone. And you know, my Android phone has been working perfectly well for me, but if things continue with YouTube, I am hoping to get some better equipment, some better quality pictures for you guys. Another long-term tech sinking fund that I would like to have saved is about $3,000 by the end of 2026. I know I will need, you know, computer upgrades, whether it's just parts or a completely different computer around that time frame. So I just want to be prepared. And the other long-term sinking fund that I want to start now is for a vacation fund. Now I have saved money up in a sinking fund for vacations previously, but I have pretty much used up that money for all the vacations we've taken this past year. I know we're not gonna take a bunch of vacations in the coming one to two years because we will be in San Diego and we won't have anyone to watch our cats. So I know that if we do end up moving back to Michigan and then we are able to take some vacations, I would like some money saved up for that time frame. The goal is to have $5,000 saved by the end of 2023, maybe even the middle of 2024, for a big vacation. And the last financial goal of 2022 that I've been thinking about recently is trying to get a tax accountant. We're going through a lot of changes right now. We're moving across the country next year. I just got a new job. We may actually get married next year, crazy things. So I'm thinking that a tax accountant may be helpful as opposed to things like TurboTax that you, know, you just do online and it's been working out perfectly fine for us in the previous years but things are starting to get a little bit more complicated. So I'm probably even gonna start a sinking fund to pay for that tax accountant, but we'll see how that goes. Let me know if you have any recommendations about all of that stuff. Definitely let me know down below. And now on to my personal goals for 2022. Honestly, I think all of the goals that I've really set for myself on a personal front have been about my health and well-being. Because although I've really tried to get other areas of my life in order during the past two years, I feel like I've kind of let my health and well-being just off to the side and I can kind of feel those effects now. So to combat some of the things that I have been feeling recently, number one, I want to finally get myself onto a workout routine. Oh, that sounds awful even just saying it, but honestly, I'm not getting any younger and me sitting around at a desk job all day is not helping any, you know what I'm saying? So, number one, 
just get myself moving to begin with and then hopefully evolve that routine into an actual workout routine during this next year. Please send me all of your well wishes. I will be needing it because I hate working out. I really do. <laughs> Another thing that will hopefully help my all over well-being is hopefully going to see a therapist next year. I've been talking about this for far too long and if anyone needs a therapist, it's me. So I'm gonna be looking at options and uh, seeing what our healthcare covers, all of that fun stuff. Another thing that I think that will really help with my mental well-being is getting into a cleaning routine. So I am definitely like an anxious OCD type A person and I do love to clean and when I clean, I get the job done amazingly well. But sometimes I just procrastinate, I put things off and then when I look around the house or the apartment, I see things aren't perfectly clean. It just really gets to me. So I need to put in order a cleaning schedule to make sure that I'm always feeling good in the space that I live. The last personal goal that I have for 2022 is to put together a list of San Diego day trips. Now, like I mentioned before, we will most definitely not be going on any major vacations while we are in San Diego because we just don't have anyone that we completely trust to watch our cats if we are gone. So I figured if I put a list together and come up with a plan on how to tackle each and every activity on my list, we can have an amazing time even if we're not going on full out vacations. And if you're in San Diego or if you know any amazing things to do in San Diego, please let me know down below. I mean, oh, I love water, I love the outdoors, I like hiking, we like anything outdoorsy, so let me know. My last category for goals for 2022 have to do with all of the side projects that I have. Obviously, if you're watching this, you know that I have a YouTube, I also have an Instagram, I also do DIY, so there's a lot of other things and hobbies that I like to invest my time in, and I have a couple goals for those. I have really been enjoying making and editing videos for YouTube, so I want to make it a personal goal to upload one video a week in 2022. Now I will give myself a break if I really need it, but I really wanna try and hit this goal. I have also been lacking on Instagram this past year and I want to get that back up because obviously it helps with the whole YouTube situation. Um, and I enjoy taking pictures and I feel like I can just kind of get out of my comfort zone if I make it a habit. So I would really like to post at least two pictures a week on Instagram. Another place I've been really lacking is on my TikToks and on my Reels. I don't know what it is about making videos. I think honestly, side note, I think it's an issue with the quality of the video when I import it for over from my Android phone over to TikToks and Reels. It just, it does not look the same. The quality goes to shit. So I hope they figure that all out because as an Android phone user, I would love for it to be the same quality. Okay, side rant over. But I'm hoping that I can make about two at least two videos for TikTok and four reels a month. Another side project goal I have for 2022 is to do about a DIY a month. If you haven't seen any of those videos, I do DIYs for myself for, you know, furnishing the apartment, but I also actually redo old furniture. I just make old furniture into new modern classic pieces and I like to sell them for a profit. So I would like to do that about once a month. That could definitely be a profitable activity for me, so that's my goal. And then the last major goal I have for my side projects is to get a plan together to make this financial consultation thing that I've been doing for you guys, I've been doing for my friends and my family on the side. I wanna really put that together as like an actual plan and a, and a small business almost. I would love to do a series of courses, maybe get like a budgeting finance sheet out there that you guys can like pay like very minimal amount for that you can use, you know, something along those lines. Maybe even set up one-on-one -on -one calls with people who want my consultations. Whatever it is, I want to get that plan together within this next year and really make it a reality. If you're interested in any of that, maybe having a budget sheet made for you by me, having one-on-one -on -one calls with me about all of your financial questions, let me know in the comments down below too. That'll really help me understand if this is if there's even a market for it really because i know as a brown female growing up i did not learn about personal finance in school or really from my parents that much because 
they were first generation immigrants trying to figure it out themselves. So I kind of really had to take their lead, but really learn all of these things myself. And I would love to make that easier for all of you guys. And that is it. That is a hefty list of goals, I know, but I will definitely budget and keep goal setting every month to hopefully make a lot of those things happen. Don't forget to hit the like button if this inspired you at all. Don't forget to subscribe because I actually have a 2022 budget video coming up based on all of these goals that I just showed you because I have to figure out a way to make all those financial goals work, right? So I'll show you how I budget all of that. And don't forget to share this video with anyone you know that is interested in personal finance or even DIYing, whatever it is, please share my video with them. And I hope you guys have an amazing 2022 and get that year off to the best start possible. Good luck, you guys.